What's going on, everybody? It's Nick Payne with Face Mask Fantasy, a noteworthy development involving Saints running back Alvin Kamara. As you all know, Kamara was involved in an altercation in Las Vegas back in 2022. He was accused of attacking a man at a nightclub and was charged with conspiracy to commit battery and substantial bodily harm. We now know that Kamara has agreed to a plea deal. He'll compensate the victim financially for the medical bills and complete some community service. As a result, the felony charge in this case has been dropped. This is significant as it pertains to Kamara's availability for the 2023 season. There was previous speculation that the felony charge would keep the star back off the field for the majority of the season and possibly longer. His ADP this offseason has hovered around 100, so the consensus was certainly being cautious about drafting him. That should change now, but we're not out of the woods yet. Remember, the NFL typically suspends players that violate the league's code of conduct, even if they aren't charged with committing a crime. That remains Kamara's situation. But now we're probably looking at something like a four to six game suspension as opposed to a season long suspension or worse. A massive sigh of relief for contending dynasty teams that have Kamara rostered. But in redraft leagues, how big of a jump can we expect in Kamara's ADP? And will it be worth the cost? In 15 games played, Kamara finished as the RB17 in fantasy points per game in 2022 and the RB18 overall. It wasn't a good season for him by his lofty standards, but that type of production would be worth the cost of an ADP around 100. Of course, that's going to climb at least 20 spots once we know the official duration of the suspension, and it'll climb even higher if the suspension is on the shorter end, maybe closer to four games as opposed to six. The drawback with Kamara is he'll be 28 before the season begins, and his past two seasons have been his worst from a yards per carry basis. On top of that, the Saints signed Jamal Williams in free agency and spent a third round pick on Kendra Miller. It's possible the team was simply preparing for the worst as far as Kamara's availability, and he could retain a high workload once he's on the field. He's accumulated over 1,500 career touches, 430 of which are catches, so the wear and tear might not be as severe as other veteran backs with a career touch number like that. Still, that's a lot of mileage, and when you combine the recent drop-off in efficiency with the Saints offseason additions to the backfield, it's fair to be concerned about Kamara. But he's a proven high-end producer who should get a boost from an improved Saints offense with Derek Carr under center instead of Jameis Winston or Andy Dalton. Get into those best ball drafts now and take Kamara 100 picks in while you still can. He might be less enticing once redraft leagues kick off in August and September because by then his ADP will be multiple rounds higher. But even if Kamara is just an RB2 these days, he would be worth the gamble theoretically, if he's available 60 to 75 picks into your drafts. I'll continue to monitor this situation as it develops and can provide updated content once we know more. What do you guys think? Put any thoughts you have in the comment section below, and we can have a conversation about this. Till then, this is Nick with Face Mask Fantasy. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening.